everyone, it's Maki here. Kira Yamato, who appears in the Gundam Seed series, is a character who has garnered a tremendous amount of popularity. One of the reasons for his popularity is his exceptional piloting skills. By nature, he is someone who does not favor fighting. Praising Kiro's combat skills might on one hand potentially cause him distress. However, the fans are still captivated by his outstanding skills. Let's take a closer look at Kiro Yamato's piloting skills as showcased in Gundam Sea Destiny. The Freedom Gundam enters the scene of chaos where the Earth Alliance forces sucked and Dobami are crashing in battle Freedom Gundam and Kira only make the battlefield more chaotic after an angry state. Kira understands the truth in his words, but chooses to fight for the sake of a tearful and sorrowful cavalry. If you seek to destroy what cavalry is trying to protect, then I will defeat you, Kira declares. With these words, he challenges the Saber Gundam piloted by Athran. Athran is taken aback as the Freedom Gundam rapidly reverses and approaches. The Freedom Gundam throws aside its shield. The Saber Gundam touches Freedom Gundam's beam Saber with its shield and brushes it off. The recoil from the force of each other's power momentarily throws both off balance, however. The Freedom Gundam quickly draws the beam Saber from its left hip and slices off Saber Gundam's arm. At this point, the Saber Gundam loses its means of attack. It still has a Saber on its right shoulder. However, you need to let go of the shield on your left arm and then grab the Saber. The beam cannon on its back is also hard to handle at close range and it requires an action to deploy in the presence of Freedom Gundam, making these movements is impossible. Moreover, the Balkan guns on its head are ineffective against the Freedom Gundam, which is equipped with face shift armor. The Saber Gundam has lost its means of attack at this point. Then, it is completely deprived of its combat capabilities by a beam saber and falls to the sea. Now, the truth is this battle was decided before it began. Kira had resolved to fight Astran and had anticipated all of Astran's actions. Do you remember the moment when the defeat of the saber Gunnam was confirmed? It was the attack using the beam saber on the left side of Freedom Gundam's waist. Kira's victory came from his preparation to use his left arm in an attack within an extremely short period after releasing the shield. Let's take a look at the battle scenes a little earlier. You see Freedom Gundam disabling the combat capabilities of the Orb Union's mobile suits that are attempting to attack the battleship Manover. At this time, Freedom Gundam is activating the beam Saber on the left side of its waist with its right arm. It is a very commonly used tactic. Afterwards, he momentarily switches to a beam rifle but then goes back to using the beam saber for combat. This is the scene where he is fighting in post Gunnam. He is using the beam saber on the left side of his waist. It is also clearly understood that the beam saber on the right side is in standby. Next, there is a moment when he temporarily collides with the saber Gunnam. Here too, Freedom Gundam is using the beam saber on the left side of its waist and the handle of the beam saber on the right side is clearly depicted. Further, in the battle with Chaos Gundam, the beam saber on the right side is again in standby. Finally, there is the scene where Freedom Gundam charges at the saber Gundam. Here, Freedom Gundam is equipped with the beam saber on the white side. 
The saver on the left side has been changed to stand by. By the time he decided to attack Asran, Kira had switched the beam savers. Kira intentionally allowed Asran to defend against the first attack and repel it. Even before the crash, he had planned to settle the fight with the beam saber on the left side. Actually, there is a character in the past Gundam series who employs a similar tactic. That character is Amaro Rei. Let's focus on his fighting style in Mobile Suit Gundam Shao's counterattack. Amaro's Mobile Suit, the Rei Guzzi, is equipped with a beam rifle in its right arm. At the start of the battle with Shao's Mobile Suit, the Sasabi he is also firing with his right arm. Then hiding behind rocks, when he reappears he has the beam rifle, equipping his left arm. Approaching the Sasabi while firing, he first strikes the Sasabi with the beam rifle. With this attack, the Sasabi's rifle barrel is forcibly turned outward. Next, he attacks the off-balance Sasabi with a beam saber in his right arm. Like Kira, Amaro had planned to take down his opponent with the second strike. However, Sha remained calm. He sacrificed his beam rifle to avoid a direct hit to his mobile suit. In contrast, Athran in the earlier example was disturbed by the Obami's hostility and Kagali's tears. But in this scene, Sha was calmly observing the battle. Even so, it's safe to say that Amaro's piloting skills are impressive as he was able to neutralize the Sasabi's offensive capabilities with the vastly inferior Wega Z. It may seem understated, but the attack in which the Freedom Gundam neutralized the Chaos Gundam was also a display of outstanding skill. In a single attack, it destroyed the left and right attack terminals the path corresponding to the nose of the mobile armor mode and the white arm equipped with the beam rifle. Moreover, it didn't hit the cockpit located in the chest. You may be reminded of the final battle in Star Wars Episode 3. It's the scene where Obi-Wan Kenobi intercepts Darth Vader's jumping attack. Obi-Wan used his lightsaber to sever Vader's arms and legs in the short time it took him to land. Kira fought to protect Kagali's heart. Obi-Wan fought using the Zola as form of lightsaber combat, which excels in defense. And then Amaro fought to protect her from Shao's crown. These battles may express the suddenness of having to attack in order to protect. Everyone launched their determined attacks while carrying their own sorrows. By the way, Kira's Freedom Gundam is now headed towards you. You have to intercept him. Don't worry, I prepared the Savior Gundam for you. Activate the Savior Gundam by hitting the subscribe button. Then start the phase shift armor with the like button. Hurry, the Freedom Gundam is approaching right in front of you. Press the bell button to defend against his beam saber using your shield. I wish you luck. I hope to see you safe and sound in the next episode.